solve the problem, give an exact answer, and an approximation to the nearest tenth. A boat travels two miles south, and then nine miles east. How far is the boat from its starting point? Well, we're given a word problem and, and a diagram to help us, uh, a figure to help us, and uh, you know, as we know, you know, if I look in general, if, let me go over here, as if we were looking at a map, you know, we have the compass directions of north and south, and we, you know, east is to the right of north and west. So we're looking at the compass. It looks to me like pretty much everything is aligned according to the compass because the the vertical part of this triangle and the horizontal part it's definitely if the boat look here here's kinda like let's put some color to this if the boat started here then traveled to here it went south and that's what this part of the diagram is, is telling us the boat traveled south through some dimension called that's labeled a a, a certain number of a miles then it turned a 90 degree angle, that's this symbol, it turned a 90 degree angle to uh, the east. So it went south like this from here to here. Then it turned 90 degrees to the east and it traveled another certain distance that is being labeled B right here. A certain distance of miles, uh, B number of miles. So we have A number of miles going south and B number of miles going east. So here's where the boat ends. What they appear to be asking us, if the boat started here and ended here, ended here, then what they're asking us for is to find this distance from start point to the end point and now we have a chance to look at this and call it uh, what it appears to be is a right triangle because of this 90 degree turn from south to east and of course what takes over is the Pythagorean theorem where the two sides of the Pythagorean theorem form the uh, right angle the right angle is a 90 degree angle and if we connect the diagonal of the 90 degree angle, it points to the hypotenuse, which is C. Now, wouldn't that give us you know, the distance that the boat traveled from beginning to end, from the start to the end? So now let's make use of the information that's given to us in the problem. Uh, more information. A represents, the letter A, the variable A, represents a distance of two miles. And that's what they told us. The boat went south to, for two miles. And then it turned to the east. And it traveled nine miles. And we're asking, we're, we're being asked to solve, obviously we're being asked to solve for C. How far in miles, we're going to keep miles as part of the answer, as we should. Uh, how far did the boat travel from the start to the end? Now, they've conveniently labeled for us this triangle uh, in the same way that that the Pythagorean theorem is constructed a squared plus b squared the square of the two legs added together equals of course the hypotenuse c squared now I'm going to switch to all green so that we can just do our our problem seamlessly what we're meant to do uh, the Pythagorean theorem was developed by Pythagoras many many years ago in Greece uh, the, uh, Pythagoras developed his theorem of all right triangles obey this law the the lengths of the three sides uh, enjoy this relationship and there's nothing that uh, countermands this um, property so for thousands of years we've followed it uh, even in terms of navigation uh, as with uh, this this boat uh, the travels on the water. We make room for substituting the A and the B. 
we leave empty parentheses so we can put the numbers in that uh, were given to us equals c squared on the right side so we don't know what c squared is we leave it as c we replace a with two miles two miles and we replace b with nine miles it's the lengths of the sides a b and c are the lengths of the sides of a right triangle so now what takes over is PEMDAS so let's go to um, PEMDAS says on the left side we're gonna apply PEMDAS what we have uh, is exponents we have to do exponents first then we come back and do the addition so if we obey the rules of the order of operations which we abbreviate as PEMDAS first thing we do is square uh, each of these terms individually 2 squared is 4 miles squared just by saying it develops miles squared the unit of area actually then we're gonna leave this plus alone we're gonna attack that later in the order of operations now we're gonna square the 9 we're hopping over past the addition and go finish all the exponents in this expression on the left side 9 squared is 81 miles squared I mean, we we square these individually because they're really connected with times and the product rule for exponents uh, a product the power of a product takes over 9 squared is 81 and miles squared is miles squared now I'm gonna stay on the left side 4 miles squared plus 8 miles squared when we put all these together it makes 85 miles squared we treat miles squared like a variable if this was x squared plus x squared it would remain x squared the er exponent on the variables don't change with addition or subtraction don't forget this is the left side of an equation equals c squared is the right side c squared is on the right side now we're not interested in what c squared is look up here we want to know what c equals how many miles right now c squared is miles squared so what we do to undo a square is we use employee square root we want to liberate c from c squared technically when I take the square root of both sides of an equation um, to solve for a variable we need to account for a positive or a negative root we'll address that in a moment the square root of c squared however the square root of a perfect square is c so we're we're getting the answer to come out to, to what we had set up but uh, we take the square roots of both sides uh, of both of these factors individually we're using the product rule to break these up into 85 goes under one roof they're like moving apart like roommates that are breaking up and miles squared goes in under the other roof we'll keep the plus or minus temporarily and deal with that in a second now we know that the square root of something squared the square root of a perfect square like miles squared becomes miles to the first the square root of 85 is an imperfect square uh, 80, the square root of 81 would simplify to 9 but this is somewhere between the square root of 81 9 and the square root of 100 which is 10 so this is somewhere a little more than 9 so we're gonna leave it because I notice in the um, answer key in the in the set of answer choices they also leave the radicals in radical notation so we really actually don't have to worry too much about converting this to an, a decimal approximation and I'll, we address that in a moment so we get that square root of 85 miles plus or minus positive or negative square root of 85 miles equals C however when we consider that this is a distance in real life uh, and in real life real distances are uh, never negative you know with in terms of traveling through a distance it's where this boat was moving forward never backwards so we eliminate the possibility of the negative distance and in the end of this problem uh, we make a conclusion we draw the conclusion that uh, the distance is square root of 85 miles that the boat travels and we find this answer right here in D it also asks us to approximate to uh, an approximate number of decimal miles and we know that square root of 85 is just a little bigger than the square root of 81 square root of 81 is 9 miles 
So the square root of 85 is just a little bit bigger than 9 miles, and I feel comfortable with selecting this answer without the need to go through a formal estimation process uh, of estimating the decimal value of a radical expression.